Mugersee is the largest of all lakes in Berlin. It's super wide and it's surrounded by forests. It's therefore a great place to come and cool down in the hot summer months. A hot day like today, for example, where it's coming close to 30 degrees in the city and today you have a nice breeze coming from the shore. And for that exact reason, every summer you will see Berliners enjoy the beaches around the lake. They come by tram, they come by car, they can also bike here. But little do they know that they could simply take a flight of stairs and walk under it. At the end of the 19th century, Friedrichshagen, north of Müggersee, was a popular destination for Berliners during the hot summer months. And so much so that the ferry was connecting both shores, carrying up to 40,000 people per day. It got so popular that it got soon out of hands and plans for a bridge were soon drafted. But it was soon rejected because waterways were still used to ship coal and goods up and down the city. Shipping companies argued that it would make their business difficult and would block larger boats from going through. In 1925, a tunnel project was approved to be delivered two years later. It took only 16 months and 1 million Reichsmark for the tunnel to be completed. Almost a century later, the so-called Spree Tunnel remains an unusual and exciting sight to discover, not too far off the S-Bahn station. Coming down here would definitely feel this weird atmosphere. It has this damp smell that's quite particular and is also the acoustic that's, I don't know if you can hear it, pretty unique too. A pretty nice uh, concert spot if you ask me. I'll try to remove uh, this microphone here so you could maybe hear the echo and I'll sing a song for you. Like this? Okay. The Spree Tunnel. The Spree Tunnel is 120 meters long, 5 meters wide, and it sits at 4 meters under the waterline. It was a feat of engineering at the time, and that's because it was the first bridge in Germany to use a special technique using an air pressured structure to lower the bridge under the water. And just like in 1926, you will see families and retirees bringing their beachside kids to their favorite picnic spots around the lake. I'll grant you this, there's not too much to be excited about tunnels in general. But next time you meet your friends, at the beach and they ask you how you got there, this time you can answer that you walk under the spray.